What's up, Booty Brigade? You got Danita Young with BootyBands.com. Excited to bring you another topic on how we can get long-term results with a three-step program to help you cut fat and keep your curves because it is time to truly look and feel your best with the right knowledge about your food, the right education about your workouts, and really the right way to help you get that confidence and to keep it. Staying on that self-love loop is going to be that huge key. So thanks for joining me today. Excited to go over today's topic, of course, our our another whiteboard uh, education tip here. So this one is going to be forgetting the calorie and getting results. Now immediately I might trigger a few of you because a lot of you might be liking the calorie counting that you are doing. Now this isn't for everyone. I do believe that there are as many people that there are, there is as many successful transformations that can be done as well. So I don't believe that there is just one way. I do believe that if you are doing something right now and it is working for you, then go ahead and skip this video. It's not for you. And continue to keep counting calories if that's what you prefer. I prefer to not count calories. My audience uh, that does not like to count calories. So if you are wanting to be that listener, go ahead and come in. So again, I'm not there to trigger people and to tell them that this uh, it works for everyone. This is for some people that are ready to find a different way to count calories. Okay, so the one thing, the one mistake that I think about counting calories for women especially is that it has turned women to think about eating less because they think in their mind, okay, so if I eat as little as possible because I have to burn more than what I can consume or have less calories, I will get skinnier. I will get more fit is what happens in their mind. And that is the most wrong way because what we do know, facts are that if you lower your calories too much, you'll put yourself in starvation mode. Therefore, your body holds on to the weight thinking that it has to go into sleep mode because it doesn't know when it's getting its next meal. So I have noticed that when I go into that kind of like high, low, high, low, like starving half the time, I do feel my stomach getting a lot bloated and a lot bigger and my body is holding on to the weight. If you feel that same thing, keep watching this video. Again, if that's not you, this video is not for you. Okay, so first thing and first mistake that I see is women, when they're counting calories, they eat way too low. The second mistake that I see is they end up choosing the wrong type of calorie. Instead of thinking about the actual nutrient dense of a calorie, they're just thinking of the calorie number. So let's just go into that for an example. So if we have a donut, let's say it's 200 calories, I'm just throwing a number out there, Comparative to, let's say, a small protein salad, let's say it's the same amount of calories, but vastly different with the nutrients, right? So in their mind, if they're thinking, okay, just as I'm gonna eat as little as possible, this little donut is not gonna be that big of a deal. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's see how much of a big of a deal of it really can be, right? So I'll go into that in just a moment. Let's use another example here. So juice, I have 130 calories versus a protein shake, which is 130 calories. Vastly different, same calories, but extremely different results. Here's what's gonna happen when you have either that donut or the juice. Same calorie, different results. You're gonna spike your blood sugar, hence make sure to watch this video somewhere around here I'm gonna post for you that talks about the whiplash effect with your blood sugar, that when you're spiking that blood sugar up too high, you can put yourself into insulin resistance, therefore making it so the, the insulin doesn't break down the sugar anymore in the blood, and then the blood now puts the sugar into the adipose tissue, therefore making a bigger stomach. So, okay, let's go back. So spiking blood sugar. Next one, it feeds the fat. Uh, zero nutrients, we know when we have less, or if it's some nutrients, right? Juice has a little bit of nutrients, but if it doesn't have a lot of nutrients, we know that it will spark the cravings. Okay. Now, hence a lot of people think, wait, 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 let's go back up there for a second. Cravings come from a nutrient deficiency. That hence why a lot of women have cravings more than men, because on average, 80% of all the nutrients that a woman had all month long, she uses up during the last two weeks of her menstrual cycle. So therefore women have more cravings, especially during pregnancy and especially around her hormone cycle. So um, it's extremely important to know that your body is craving nutrients. What type of nutrients? It's looking for those nuts, the seeds, the veggies, the fruit, things like that, that's got that high fiber, really dense with nutrients, right? If you're just squeezing out a bunch of orange juice, and you're just using the juice part of it, you're not getting the pulp, you're essentially not getting any of the fiber, right? And you're really spiking your blood sugar here. So again, same calories, but different results. I used to drink so much juice until I figured this out. Okay, the next one, let's go over here. So the difference here, okay, so we've got either a protein shake, let's say some sort of protein salad, chicken salad, fish salad, egg salad, whatever you wanna do, whatever. Using an example here. 
This one we know that it's going to fuel the muscle, feed the muscle. We're in a muscle decline, so make sure to watch this video right up here somewhere. I talk about how we go into a muscle, we're in a muscle decline. After every single decade, we're losing muscle, and that right there is slowing our metabolism. So make sure to check out that video. So what we do know that with the protein shake and the protein salad, we can fuel the muscle, which will then speed the metabolism up. What's great is then we can have more energy, we're gonna have less health risks, we're gonna have more productivity, and we're gonna have more nutrients, which causes less cravings overall. So essentially the big takeaway here is calories aren't all created equal. And it really saddens me when I see women just focusing on that number instead of focusing on really the nutrient dense part, really what it's doing. And this education piece here literally transformed my entire health journey. I went from weight loss, starving myself, drinking tons of juice, focusing as little as possible as far as the calories go. And over here, I focused on lifting more weights, having more protein in my diet, cutting the sugar, balancing out my macros more, really learning the educational piece, and it has completely transform my body. I don't even do cardio because I'm able to really maintain my shape through just eating. That's it's a huge component of actually keeping your size. I truly believe that um, diet is what keeps your, your size and your weightlifting and your resistance bands and things like that is what keeps that shape, what you look like after the weight loss. So really they go hand in hand. It's so important to have both. Um, cardio is obviously great for the heart. Um, it's definitely not one of my favorites, but I still do it every once in a while, yes, of course, because it is good for the body. I'm just gonna throw that in there so I don't have any haters later saying Danita hates cardio. Okay, so hopefully this helped. If you do have any questions, please comment down below. I love, love, love questions. It's extremely important and valuable to me that my community is very well educated and is seeing the results, really looking and feeling good and they're, they're truly, their transformations happening right before their own eyes is really why I have dedicated and put my entire life into doing this is because I absolutely, there's nothing that's more confident and so amazing to see that woman find her transformation and to really have the trophies of her own life in her own hands and going, look, I did it. I'm doing it. This is it. This is how to do it. And I love that. That's just, oh, I think there's so much passion that can just kind of like exude out of me right now about that. It's just, it is really like my, my heart, soul, and passions. Um, if you have any questions, please let me know. I am here to answer any of those. That is what all these little whiteboard things are about. But if you do have any other questions, or you'd like to join the Booty Bands and Barbells community, our workouts with our app, our amazing meal plans, our mindset program, you go ahead and just click the link below. And if you do have any other questions, make sure to comment down below. Lots of love, have an amazing rest of your week, and I'll uh, make sure you don't count calories.